Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about the tuberous sclerosis imaging. Definition. Neurocutinous syndrome. Amatoma amatomatosis. Amatomas of multiple organ okay, like CNS, skin, kidney, bone, original pacomatosis. Pacoma was used by Dutch ophthalmologists to describe a retinal amatoma. Presentation, classic clinical triad, adenoma, sepulchrum, seizure, intellectual disability, seen in only 30 to 40 percent, infantile spasm, poor outcome, autism. Demographic, A, rhabdomyoma present prenatally and in infancy, sinus lesion present in infancy, infancy and ch ch childhood, skin lesion present in childhood, renal, lung and bone lesion present in adolescent and adulthood. Epidemiology, one over ten thousand incidents. Imaging cerebral tuber, cortical subcortical lesion expanding overlying gyrus. T2 player hyperintent, T1 hyperintent after myelinization. T1 hyperintent prior to myelinization. Cerebellar tuber, wet shape, pussy or volume loss, more likely to enhance and Classified. Subepidemol nodule. Elongate nodule in location of fertile germinal matrix. Increased calcification over time. 30 to 80 percent in hand. Subepidemol giant cell astrocytoma. Growing nodule at caudotalamic group. WHO grade 1 neoplasm. T1C plus somehow in a four years old boy with tuberous sclerosis. So a globular homogeneous enhancing mass in the right caudotalamic group consists stand with a subepidemol giant cell astrocytoma. Non-enhanced CT in the same patient first year after resex of the giant mass. So multiple classified subepidemol nodule. The location of the subepidemol nodule appears to the anatomic distribution of fatal gym no matrix with a pre Ponderant in the caudal thalamic group. T1 MR image in a female infant with tuberosclerosis at three months on the left and ten months on the right. Of it as soon. Note how the cerebral tuber in Raja migration line. Uh, relatively hyperintent before myelination on the left and relative hyperintent after myelination on the right. non contrast enhanced CT in a 23-month-old girl with tuberous sclerosis so multiple classify subepidemol nodule. Note that the location of the nodule adheres to the distribution of quartile germinal matrix with a preponderant in the cardiothalamic group. 
non-enhanced CT show a calcified lesion of the left frontal lobe in a child with tuberous sclerosis, this stable hematomatous lesion can be assigned to treat seizure. Note the subepidermal nodule in the temporal horn. Treatment. Medical anti-seizure therapy, a resex of seizure focus. M GOR inhibitor are now first line therapy for SEGA. Thank you.